are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we got some shocking news we need to talk about. Here we are again making another video about not just a man. How about this? Two men going over into women's sports and finishing one and two. I believe this actually happened in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. Folks, men going over into women's sports are making a mockery of women's sports. These women really don't have a chance to actually win because there is a physical difference. Now, when these two individuals were actually competing as men, guess what? They were mediocre. Where have we actually heard that before? Mediocre. The whole Leah Thomas thing, mediocre of swimming against men, decides, hey, I want to be a woman. And then all of a sudden wins an NCAA championship. Yeah. Women, you're going to have to start speaking up. You're going to have to raise hell to keep these men out of your sports, out of your spaces. Folks, in some places, it's becoming illegal at a state and local level to actually say, hey, I don't want to compete against men. Women, you're going to have to speak up. Here we go, guys. Look at this on our kick. Transgender cyclists win gold and silver in Illinois women's race for second time in two months. Yeah. Not one time. The same exact people. One for the second time in two months. Now, when I first saw this story, I started researching a bit. And I was like, all right, was this race just a few months ago? No. This is a new race, but the same men won again. Unbelievable. Let's read some of this, guys. Two transgender women also known as biological men, have won gold and silver in a cyclocross race in Illinois. The trans cyclists, Evely Williamson and Tessa Johnson, are making a pattern of win winning uh, women's races, as this is now the second podium they have shared in two months. Unbelievable, man. I'm, I'm stunned. Actually, you know what? I'm not really stunned because... This is a growing trend. But the left says, hey, it's not happening that much. Yeah, it is. And we have documented a whole bunch of cases where men have come over in the women's sports, identifying as women and dominated them. It says here the Illinois State uh, Cycle Cross championships were made up of a number of different races Divided into men's, women's, and junior categories. Johnson and Williamson ultimately took home gold and silver honors, respectively, while the bronze finishing biological woman, uh, Kristen Chalmers, somehow smiled on the podium, standing next to biological men. I'm pretty sure that she was not happy about this. Maybe she actually felt threatened, you know, a couple of men. I mean, look at this, man. Look at this picture. I don't know if it's going to get a little bit bigger here on this. I'm going to um, blow this up a little bit. Actually, if I take it off right there, you guys can see right there. The guy on the right right here, definitely not even trying to look like a woman. I mean, they're both clearly men. And check, check this out. The guy that actually won, I'm sorry. You can actually see the package right there. Got the hair going right there. I mean, this is making a mockery of women's sports. A mockery, a complete mockery, guys. This is just unreal. Now, I like what I'm... Um, with somebody here in the comments on that, they said fits it and they actually um, put the female 
on the winner's podium right there. This has gotten out of control, man. This is so out of control. The exact same disgraceful, disgraceful unfinished unfolded back in October with Johnson winning gold and Williamson taking silver in the uh, women's uh, cycle cross cup in Chicago. Like Chalmers, biological female Allison Zamunda. I don't know how you pronounce the name. Happily stood on the podium after finishing third behind the two biological males. According to Redux, Chicago Cross Cups website notes that it will disqualify anyone who practices. Check this out. Discrimination or harassment of any kind on the basis of race, color, religion, age, gender, sexual orientation, gender identification, national origin, or any other stupid idea someone comes up with to belittle another race. That, that, that right there pretty much explains why the female right there looks happy. Because if she actually you know, showed any displeasure with this, she could actually get disqualified. She wouldn't have a medal at all. Yeah, they probably made that rule right there to silence the women. Johnson and Williamson have been making a mockery of women's cycling and biological women in general for quite some time. The duo competed under the team name T.S. Astro Dolls in the Racing Athletic Relay Cross in Chicago in August. They won the race while competing under the name referencing estrogen. Wow. Now, look at this here. Williamson has picked up 18 first place finishes since 2017 competing against women. While Johnson actually competed in the men's category while competing for Clemson University in college. Now, look at this. The duo had little to no success when competing against men. Which should not come as a shock to anyone. Yeah. And here they are. Right here also. With Austin Killips, who is another man identified as a woman, woman and competing against women. Why is it, guys, that it is nothing but mediocre men that all of a sudden want to transition over and start dominating women? Every single time it is a mediocre man that does this. You're not seeing any high level male athlete saying, you know what? I beat up on the men so much. I feel like I actually have to go over now and compete against women. This is by design to me, guys. Every single time it is a mediocre male doing this because they know truly they can't beat actual men. This is why they do this, man. That's why I believe, you know, one of the um, guys identifying as a woman isn't even trying to look like a woman. This is by design. Man, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.